G'day! In today's video, I'm opening up a HP 22FW and what I'm opening it up for is to check the charging port on it. It is an extremely lightweight machine, ridiculously lightweight, and I believe this section here will get me to where I want to get to. I want to test out the power port, power jack on this one. As a customer was saying that it was cutting in and out, and it does feel very loose, so I'm not sure what's going on there. So to begin with, I'm going to use a Phillips head screwdriver. Undo these screws here. One, two, and then on the back here, we have this screw here that needs to come out for the stand to come apart, actually. Looks to be a release button just in here, right there. Push that in, we're free. One stand removed. Looking along the bottom here, we do have these little notches, like here and here. So I suspect that they may be a way to open it. So I'm going to try a flathead screwdriver in there and twist. That looks to be working. I'll do it to the next part. Yep. I've seen some videos that get fairly brutal here. So I'm thinking I'm gonna have to go a flathead screwdriver. Twist, no. Switch to oh, one of these. There we go, now we're starting to get something. There we go. Little controller board under there. Flick this connection up. Okay, flick that up. Slide that out. There we go. Next, I can get to the power board. Now, if I disconnect here, I'll do this, this one, should mostly get me to where I want to get to. Uh, so, fix up, pull that back. Okay, pull that back. This is mostly used just to hold it into place. Go. One. Two. Three. Finally, four. One board removed. I'm going to plug the power lead into here. As you can see, we are extremely wobbly. So I'm probably going to end up re soldering that. But yeah, I'm going to plug the power lead into here, hook up to a multimeter test out this jack. If it tests out fine, I'm probably just still going to go over it and redo the solder. Very odd. So I've had a bit of luck with this one. 
What I found was when the power was plugged in, the LED light here would start flickering. What it turned out to be was on the back, the metal pin in the middle here had snapped off the solder here. So I was able to unsolder these using a solder sucker and a hot air gun. Take out this, put a new fresh solder on the back of the pin here, and then basically flood this section here. Because there's a little hole in the middle and the solder just basically gravity fed straight into there. And from there the power button, or the power LED now is staying solid. With that staying solid, I'm pretty confident that this should be fixed. There may be replacement charger ports online, but I haven't bothered looking. As, it is, as time and money on a 22 inch screen is not really worth cost effectively being spent. But now we're a lot solider and a lot better. So from here, it should be a matter of reinstalling everything and this should be good to go once more. Lift up the tab here, feed the cable in, hold it down, flip this over, under here. Now yeah, I'm not sure if these are speakers or just power lead. This one over here. Go. Then we've got four Phillips head screws to put back in. One. Do diagonals first. Two. Here. There we go. I probably need to put this front trim back on. Looks like it just lines up in this hole over in the corner. Push that in. Work my way down. Lined up at the other end and repeat. Oh, we just broke off at that end. That is a tad disappointing. Click, 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 click. Trim is now running back around the front here. Next up, we've got to reconnect this cable over here. Now, I believe I might have called this an all-in-one. It's definitely not an all-in-one. We're definitely just a single computer. Now, if I line this up into here, a pair of precise tweezers will make it a lot easier. These are terrible. Oh, these ones are slightly better. Feed it, feed it in, push down, hold this over, line it up. Very click, click, whole bunch of crunching. Just sitting on some bubble wrap, so I'm all right. So basically, massage around, should lock it in. Next up, two more Phillips head screws. Those two want to line up. This one, and just gonna squeeze it around. Okay. A slight gap around here. Go. Okay. Next up, the stand. That should simply just push back in through here. Bam, done. Hope this helps getting to the power jack on your HP 22FW. And I'll catch you guys in another video. Bye. And there we go. We are powered up once more. Go in the back. We have power light right there. We are done and good to go.